Hey tubers, this is Tom with RTR Gearheads back at you again. Obviously we have a missing door. Not cool. We'll take a quick peek inside the cab here. I don't know if I showed this. You can see glove box is in, new heater switch, kick panels, and heater vent panels are in, ignition switch, radio delete. Yeah, I probably showed some of this. So, hey, yeah, it's worth seeing it again. And uh, yeah, like I said on the other video, I had to go back in here and recut all this back in because it got spatter all over it. Okay, enough of that. Hinges and doors. I've already rebuilt these hinges with new springs. This one is going to come back out because it's real tight for some reason. I don't know what that is. Anyway, today is door day. And we're going to be getting after little pieces like this. Fix that up with some, I don't know, fiberglass, I guess. And probably touch that up with some Bondo glass fill. And then we're going to be doing this door here. Right here, we're going to come along in here. Zip all oh, well, this line clear across there and take all that out of the way and you can see there's a lot of cancer you don't want that when you're doing door work uh you just don't you try to weld on that and it just goes through it like a hot knife through butter anyway this is what i'm doing right now and uh, we're gonna skip this door down i said st skip strip the door down like this um and get it to bare metal because we want a nice finish on it and uh go from there and by the way when you do this make sure you measure from here to a known point, like up here, which in this case right here, it says 26 and 5 16 So it needs to be squared off when you're doing this new door panel from here all the way down to here because you don't want, you know, a straight level door, you don't want it looking like this because then you've got problems getting it into the actual truck. Actually, it won't work. All right, enough of that. Uh, we'll be back for the actual video cutting number one. Have a good day. Hey, YouTube Nation, this is Tom back at you again. All right, so we got the door I'll strip down. Uh, you see this different color up here. That's called stop rust. It's actually a really good product. Once you get the door clean, you can spray the stuff on here and as you can see it turns a different color. It actually turns a rusted metal uh, into black primer metal. It, it does a fairly decent job. I don't know that it'll stop the rust, but hey, it'll slow it down for, I don't know. Trucks are already 61 years old, maybe another 61 years. I don't know, I'll be dead and gone by the time somebody else gets this truck. Doesn't matter, anyway. So here we are, we made a line all the way across. And I am using a brand name Lennox. Lennox Metal Max. Just cuts through butter. I mean cuts through metal like a like a hot knife and butter, man. It's just really good. So I stripped all this down. I'll go back with a wire wheel and catch all this stuff here and get it cleaned up. And this side's already been cleaned. I'll go, you know, I'll clean some more of it. But we're gonna cut straight up here, all the way across down on the other side and remove that metal all right so i'll be back in a few minutes with another video talk to you later hey youtubers time back at you again all right so here's the right hand bottom door panel that was just in horrendous shape this piece right here which is the lower door hinge brace um you can get them aftermarket but you got to really be careful because let me see if i can walk over and get the one I had in my hands. Yeah, here it is. Got it right underneath my hat. Um, these are really crap. So instead of being able just to take this and bolt it right in there like that, if you look right here, there's a gap between here and here. Substantial gap, probably, I don't know, quarter of an inch. You have to actually cut this piece off, move this back, and then re-weld it back in flush like with this here because that's the way the factory came the same way that's all flush you can look right in there all that stuff is flush and square to include the base of all this that all has to be squared off and cut in right and then welded straight so here we go well after it uh, well, i'll get after it and uh we'll go back and look at a finished product here's the inside of the door got a lot of rust but not horrible i've seen worse and the structure and the structure is really good so we'll be good to go yep i already welded this panel from the from the outside now i can come back in and grind it out and weld it from the outside i mean from the inside yeah looking good all right folks we'll be back at you again soon talk to you later bye